Hi, my name is Mary Grandpre, and I'm the illustrator of The Noisy Paint Box, The Color and Sounds of Kandinsky's Abstract Art, a 2015 Caldecott Honor Book. And I'd like to talk to you today about some of the other Caldecott winners that have come to influence me over the years. Uh, one of my favorites is Jumanji, uh, illustrated, written and illustrated by Chris Van Allsburg. Uh, Chris Van Allsburg has always been one of my favorite illustrators um, simply because he his, his drawing is amazing. His um, use of shape, uh, color, light, atmosphere, but also his sense of perspective, which I have found to be uh, really inspiring when I try to think about using a certain point of view in some of my work. I, th I think of Chris's work oftentimes. Um, I feel like the way he places the viewer in the picture is really special, and um, I think he does it really successfully. And the fact that his shapes are so simple yet so believable is very interesting to me. It's a really um, wonderful kind of mysterious um, uh, feeling about his work, and I, I think that the fact that he also doesn't show everything um, sometimes he'll hide something or he'll just give us a piece of something and also just using um, space to let things breathe and really let us be in the picture too I think is, is a, a really wonderful thing. Again, hiding things, that kind of um, technique that makes us kind of sit a little longer and wonder what we're not seeing in the picture. So. Uh, Jumanji has always been um, one of my favorite books and just really powerful I think in its, in its illustration and the writing as well. So that's one of my favorites and also Hondo and Fabian by Peter McCarty is I think also has that beautiful simplicity that is still um, says so much, uh, brings so much emotion to each piece with that glowing light and those simple faces that you, you can't ignore. You know, we all know that face. And I think just, you know, the, the, the smallest little line can bring such a difference to a piece or the way it's um, positioned in the picture. Just a sweet, timeless book, in my opinion. And just a classic. It just makes me smile. I love it. I love it. Um, and also Dave Pilkey's uh, The Paper Boy is, is also one of my favorites. The thing that I, I've had this book a long time, the thing that I love about this book also is the, the sense of time and how time passes from beginning to end in the book. And it really, again, another book that makes me feel like I'm actually there because I feel the light changing through the book as I go through the pages and the morning, um, or I should say the night turning to morning. And again, also his uh, very simple use of space and his uh, dramatic color is uh, a real inspiration for me when I wanna um, think about simplifying my work and um, still keeping it painterly. I think it's a really nice blend of a lot of very effective things. So these were just three of my favorites that I had around the house, and um, but there are so many more. Um, but yeah, I, I, thanks for listening, and I hope that uh, if you didn't know about these books before, you'll pick them up and give them a look. Thank you.